and it's been incredibly difficult and challenging year. Dr. Aliyah DeRamsey works in emergency at Toronto General and Toronto Western Hospitals. She says her and her colleagues have banded together as they prepare for the potential emergence of a third wave. Since January last year, we have been doing simulation training to prepare for caring for COVID-19 patients, and that has only accelerated and expanded this year. We've done hundreds of hours of skills training. The province announced that 27 public health regions will be moved out of shutdown starting February 16th. On Twitter, Ontario Hospitals Association President Anthony Dale called the reopening decision shocking and confusing. He tweeted, nothing in hospitals is normal. The warning could not have been clearer. An exhausted, overextended hospital sector is likely going to have to deal with a third pandemic wave. While it is true we will not get enough vaccines in time to prevent a third wave, we might have been able possibly to vaccinate enough of our hyper vulnerable, that is long term care residents, so that the mortality toll of the third wave might not be as high. So I'm actually expecting a very high number of cases for the third wave, but not a high number of deaths. And many of them associated with coronavirus variants. According to interim results of a Public Health Ontario point of prevalence study, 5.5% of samples screened had the gene mutation associated with the UK B117 variant or the South African B1351 variant. Less than 3% were individuals who had recently travelled internationally. In Toronto, four people with COVID-19 at Baycrest Hospital screened positive for a variant last week alone strikes me that the presence of B117 might be the mechanism for our third wave. We're preparing for high volumes. We're preparing for the ways in which our communities are going to need us to be there for them. All in the hopes that the lessons learned from the first and second waves can help carry them through a possible third. Jessica Ng, CBC News, Toronto.